Hello, my fellow Ripplers. This is Chris Miles, your cash flow expert and anti financial advisor. Welcome to our show that's for you and about you. Those of you that work so sticking hard for your money and you're ready for your money to start working harder for you right now. You want that freedom, cash flow, and prosperity today, not 30 or 40 million years from now, but right now to live that life that you love, doing what you love with those that you love. But most importantly, it's not just about being rich, it's about living a rich life because as you are blessed financially and you prosper financially, you can create a greater impact in the lives of others. And guys, thank you so much for binging and sharing on these, uh, these episodes and, and being a part of and being just an awesome Rippler, being an example of what we talk about here. And thank you for letting me be that Rippler in your life as well. Hey, quick reminder, be sure to go to our YouTube channel, subscribe today, the Money Ripples with Chris Miles page, as well as check out our, po- our, our website, and not our podcast, but it's on there too. Check out our website, moneyripples.com. Uh, where we've got that passive income calculator. You guys can find out how much passive income could you create in the next 12 months. So go check that out. Chris Miles was able to retire twice by the time he was 39 years old, but he's not content to just enjoy his own financial freedom and peace of mind. Chris wants you to have your own ripple effect so you can live free today. He's not the financial advisor you expected. He's the anti-financial advisor you deserve. He's jumping behind the mic right now, ready to make waves. Here's Chris Miles. All right, guys. So uh, funny enough, you know, you guys know I get, you know, guest offers all the time to be on the show. Um, but then one, it's funny. This was one I had on my list of to, to inquire about. Didn't even know where to start necessarily. And then uh, they reached out and said, hey, guess what? We've got the founder of Alto here. And I said, I need him. Let's get him on here. And so... Our special guest today is Eric Satz. Now, Eric is a firm believer in personal autonomy, right? You know, you'll see that as you get to know him. Uh, he discovered tax advantage retirement money that could be used for long-term high return investments, and he began investigating the process. But after his first investment deal, uh, he realized that the process took weeks instead of minutes to complete. He knew there had to be a better way. And so he started Alto, which is a company that helps people invest in alternative assets, including digital currencies and other digital type of assets and crypto assets um, and be able to take control of their IRA money in their future. So, uh, so excited to have Eric on. So Eric, welcome to our show. Hey, Chris, thanks for having me. And, you know, I really love the, the, the intro that you do and um, the focus on financial freedom. It's uh, one of the things that I like to talk about and uh, sort of in connection with uh, individuals' financial futures. Right. So uh, at Alto, we help individuals invest their retirement savings in alternative assets, non-traditional assets, things like private equity, venture capital, real estate, artwork, securitized collectibles, crypto assets. Um, and, And even though we're talking about retirement savings, I think the way we all think about retirement out into the future uh, is not going to be the way we think about it today or the way that people 20 years ago thought about it, right? It's mm-hmm. it, it really has more to do with financial flexibility, financial freedom, as you say, and what our financial future is going to look like. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're trying to make sure that people have choices and options uh, when they get to that age. Yeah, I love that. Uh, you know, you'll kind of you'll hear from us where it definitely gets the mainstream. You know, I used to be a financial advisor realized nobody was becoming financially free off of the crappy mutual funds they offer. And so I quit <laughs> and uh, became financially independent by doing the opposite, by doing the other alternative space. Right. So um, yeah, so excited. And in fact, you brought up a few things about what you guys can actually invest in that I definitely want to put a focus on too. Um, so tell us your backstory though. Like tell, tell us more about you. Well, um, uh, how much time do you have? <laughs> uh, so, so I'm a recovering investment banker. I'm a mm-hmm. serial entrepreneur, and I'm a, a former venture capitalist. So I, ma- I manage a, a venture capital fund before starting before starting Alto. And okay. the way the way I got into this business is I was investing alongside the the venture funds, and I was getting ready to make an investment, and I mm-hmm. actually had a retirement statement show up. And I literally had that entrepreneurial light bulb moment where mm-hmm. it's like, oh my God, I mean, I totally forgot that this money is sitting there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it, you know, I shouldn't touch it until I retire. The risk reward profile of, of this type of uh, sort of early stage venture capital investment lends itself to 
uh, using tax advantage money, I want to use this money. The, the problem is I didn't know if that was legal. And so, <laughs> you know, and I had been investing for 25 years, right? Yeah. And, and so I went to Google and I typed in, you know, invest retirement savings in private company. Mm -hmm. And and Google said it was legal. So I was like, well, great. Be right. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, this should be easy. I'm going to do this, right? Yep. And long story short, uh, I, I called my financial advisor and I said, hey, uh, I'm, I'm going to make this next investment out of my retirement account. And he said, great. And I said, well, you still have the wire information, you know, just send it there. And he's like, no, you're totally misunderstanding me. I think it's great, but we're not going to allow you to make that investment. Mm -hmm. And so this was my introduction back in 2013, 2014. This was my introduction to the self-directed IRA world. Yeah. And I, I had to go figure out how to make this investment using my retirement money. And it took me 10 weeks to do it. I did all the work. And at the end of the process, I wrote a check to the custodian for this privilege of, you know, doing my own homework, uh, creating my own investment opportunity, and then actually doing all the administrative paperwork to, get to, to, to make it happen. Yeah. And that made no sense to me that I was going to pay them for all the work that I did. Mm -hmm. And so I said, well, obviously, I chose the wrong custodian. Right. So <laughs> let me go find for the for the next actually the next two investments. I found two new custodians. And unfortunately, the the experience just got worse and more complicated and more expensive. Uh -huh. And 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 so at the end of that, um, because I can't help myself, uh, it, you know, I really wanted to understand whether or not this was a large enough problem to solve. Mm -hmm. You know, was I the only person with this problem? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, and how many more people were there? How much money are we talking about? And so I'll just fast forward to where we are today. You know, the very beginning of 2022, we've got 35 plus trillion dollars sitting in retirement accounts, less than 2% invested in alternative assets. And, and you really need to compare that 2% number to what we see high net worth and even institutional investors do from a portfolio construction perspective. And, you know, the high net worth individual is probably going to have somewhere between 10 to 25 percent of their assets invested in in alternatives. Mm -hmm. Institutional investors like endowments and pension funds are, are going to be, you know, 25 percent on the low end up to, you know, the Yale percentage on the high end of 80 percent invest in alternative assets. Yeah. So what I had to ask myself was, why is this? Why is the rest of America, you know, at 2% at or below and, and all these, you know, professional investors and wealthy folks at, you know, 10 to 80%. And I, I identified three things, right? So the first we already talked about, I had been investing for 25 years and I had no idea that you could do this, that you mm -hmm. could use your retirement savings to invest in alternative assets. And it turns out that 70 plus percent of all of our savings in this country lives in retirement accounts. Mm -hmm. So that was the first thing. The second thing is the industry, which was, you know, hadn't changed since the early 70s when ERISA was created, mm -hmm. was people burdened, paper burdened, process burdened, and, and just overly complicated. And so who has yeah. that kind of time? I mean, I was on the board of the companies I was investing in. And so I was like, well, I really know the company. I really want to make the investment. I really want to use this money. It makes all kinds of sense. So I spent the time to do it. But, you mm -hmm. know, 99 and a half percent of the people aren't going to spend that kind of time. And, exactly. and then the third thing was the expense or cost of the process. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of alternative assets are, are long term holds. You're going to have them for seven to 10 years. You're not trading in and out. And by the way, I'm not promoting trading in and out of public company stocks either, but yeah. you can't trade in and out. They're, they're mm -hmm. private, they're a liquid, which means you're going to hold this uh, self directed IRA account for seven to 10 years. And, it, and if the minimum account fee, which it was at the time, was $500 and would mm -hmm. increase based on the, on the performance of my asset. You know, you can't make a small investment and expect to, uh, you know, exceed five hundred dollars a year for seven to ten years. You know, that's thirty five hundred to five thousand dollars. That's right. What what kind of return do you have to have if the investment itself is five thousand or ten thousand dollars? <laughs> I mean, that's you know, that's crazy money, right? 
Yep. Um, we should all be so lucky. And so what, what I, I had this North Star, this vision of doing for alternative IRA investing, what TurboTax did for self-filing, yeah. taking this otherwise expensive, complicated, uh, oftentimes uh, people and paper burden process mm -hmm. and using technology to, to cure all of that and putting a scalable solution in place so that almost anybody can use it because it can be cost effective because the, you know, a, an easy to follow do it yourself system. Right. Yeah. And, and so that would, that's what we've tried to do at Alto. And, and we launched in 2018, fast forward to today, we're North of a billion dollars in assets under custody. We have about 20,000, uh, funded accounts. About 40% of those, by the way, are, are what we refer to as crypto IRA accounts. So people mm -hmm. investing their retirement savings uh, in crypto assets. And we do that in partnership with Coinbase, our partner Coinbase, who is also an investor in Alto. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but, but the key, you know, you said something interesting before I went on this whole monologue, which was, you know, how you became the, the anti-financial advisor and you know, does someone really need to talk to you about investing in mutual funds? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm with you. The answer is no. Mm -hmm. Right. We used to have 9000 public companies. Today, we've got less than 4000 public companies and only 400 matter. And so every <laughs> mutual fund, every ETF, every index fund is comprised of some sub segment of those 400 mm -hmm. companies. Right. So at some point you get one more mutual fund. You don't get any more portfolio diversification. You just get one more mutual fund. Yeah. Who needs it? Right. <laughs> and, and by the way, I'm not anti-public company. I'm not anti-public stocks and bonds. I just mm -hmm. think 60, 40 is overrated and dead. <laughs> and really it should be 10% in 10 different asset categories or even 20% in five different asset categories. Mm -hmm. And those asset categories do not live in the public markets. And That's so right. what we're trying to do at Alto is provide you with affordable access to these other types of assets, whether it's private equity, venture capital, real estate, crypto, securitized artwork or collectibles, whatever it may be, credit products, private credit. Um, that That's our goal. We're not here to push a specific investment or a specific asset type. What we're here to say is the best investment tool is free and it's called portfolio diversification. And that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. I love it, man. Well, that's the, the thing that I think is, is great there is that again, just like you said, like there's not really diversification in the traditional world, right? Like even when somebody right. says, Oh, you're in the alternative real estate space. Does that mean I buy a REIT? I'm like, no, that, <laughs> <Right>. that's traditional. <laughs> that's the same crap. I just told you not to get, you know? Yeah. Like, no, we're talking about stuff that you're actually buying the real asset, not just a, an echo of an asset, right? It's not like the, it's like, a, you know, if you ever seen the movie Multiplicity with Michael Keaton, you know, I, where I haven't seen it. He clones no. himself, right? Okay. And uh, the clones decided to clone themselves. So it was like, they're like, it's like a Xerox, a copy of the copy. You know how the master copy is the best, but the, the right. next one's not so good. But like, that's basically what we got. And, and that's kind of what we see in the traditional, you know, markets, right? Um, so I want to really ask you about this because you mentioned a few things, right? You mentioned like, you know, Coinbase, which I know that's kind of one of your, your niches that you have that that's unique, right? Uh, right. You mentioned artwork, which I know some companies are like, no, we won't touch artwork. We'll do anything but artwork, you know, and, uh, and you're talking about doing that as well. So it, it, there are a couple of things to unpack in, in that. So um, mm -hmm. first is, yes, we're the only IRA provider that's integrated with Coinbase, which affords us the ability, again, in this theme of diversification, affords mm -hmm. us the ability to offer investors uh, a, a broad portfolio approach to crypto assets, right? It's not Bitcoin only, it's not Ethereum only, whether whether you wanna have uh, Solana or, or anything else, right? It's yeah. 120 plus different crypto assets. And I, and I think that's important. Um, yeah. Because we don't yet know what the winners and losers are going to be, right? We're, right. We're, we're still back at, you know, from, from a crypto perspective, I think, you know, where we are in the life cycle has to be compared to where we are, where we were with Web Web 1.0, not Web mm -hmm. 3.0, mm -hmm. right? And, and, you know, a lot of companies came and left uh, before the winners um, sort of 
uh, were able to break out of the pack and, and everybody was able to, to identify them, but that took some time. And that's where I think we're, I think we're, we're at the same place in, uh, in the crypto, um, life cycle, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, with, with artwork, what's important to understand is that it, it's securitized, okay? Mm. Which, which means um, you're not buying the art directly and taking it home, okay? Mm. You're right. getting uh, a, a, a fractional ownership interest in a piece of art. And we do this with, and by the way, um, I, I think from a technology perspective, what exists today that didn't exist you know, even five years ago, mm -hmm. is this ability to own a fractional interest in different real assets. And by the way, I, yeah. I do think so sort of right now is the beginning of a real asset phase, right? Mm -hmm. Whether whether it's it's real estate, and you can divide real estate up into a hundred different niches, so like whether mm -hmm. it's commercial real estate, apartments, condos you know, residential homes, uh, multifamily, like whatever it may be, you can divide the real, real estate people are very creative and you can divide that up into a hundred different things. But what technology and investment platforms uh, enable us to do today that we couldn't do five years ago was own this fractional interest in a thing, in a physical asset, whether the asset is uh, a Picasso or a Banksy mm -hmm or it's an antique automobile or a Rolex watch hmm. or a Babe Ruth card or a pair of Michael Jordan sneakers, whatever the case may be, we can now make these investments uh, on a fractional basis. We don't have to have all the money in the world in order to participate. And, mm -hmm. and I get to own an interest and I get to own it in a tax advantage way using my Alto IRA, yeah. right? And so, th so that didn't exist before. No. Um, and, you know, that that's, uh, you know, that's what gets me excited, which, it, which <laughs> is this, this ability to enable uh, almost everybody in uh, in our country, in America, to to invest the way the wealthiest have been doing for a long time now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so it, it's a democratization. It's a leveling of the playing field. And by the way, this is not to say that some of these investments are, are without risk. That's not mm -hmm. anybody who tells you, oh, it's guarantee. Like, OK, <laughs> turn and run. Like that's mm -hmm. that's not, the, the point is to have a portfolio. Mm -hmm. Right. Because there are going to be winners and losers. But what you want is you want your winners to be to be big winners. And you and, and you want to you want to continue to, uh, you know, to invest in your winners and you want your losers to be, you know, relatively contained and small. But, yeah. but that's just the way portfolio construction works. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now, you mentioned that your guys' fees with Alto is actually more reasonable because of how you try to do almost like this TurboTax version, right? Uh, yeah. Explain that to us a little bit more. Sure. And, and so we divide the world up uh, at Alto into two different types of accounts. There's um, your, your standard Alto IRA account, which allows mm -hmm. you to invest in um, all the non-crypto assets, right? So mm. the private equity, the real estate, venture capital, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, on, on, on the crypto IRA side, uh, you're only putting crypto assets in, in that account. Mm. And so on, on the standard side, the first side that we were talking about, um, depending upon which pieces of technology you're using in the Alto IRA technology stack, Mm -hmm. Your annual cost is either going to be $100 or it's going to be $250. Wow, that's and, great. And so on, on the $100 side, you're only investing via our uh, platform partners, of which we have, I don't know, close to 80 now. Maybe it's mm -hmm. more. Uh, I'm really not sure. But uh, my, so platform partners look like companies like AngelList and Republic and WeFunder and Masterworks and Cadence and Farm Together and Acre Trader and, and, and Diversa Fund and the, the list goes on, mm -hmm. right? But it enables you uh, to, to build this diversified portfolio at $100 at a time, right? Mm, you don't have right. to have $100,000. Yeah. You can literally do it with $100 at a time. And so, um, but at the same time, 
if you have your own deal flow, mm -hmm. if, if you have the ability to invest in a, a friend's company or a friend's fund or whatever it may be, yeah, you know, wh where it's not as automated, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's the type of account that's going to cost you two hundred and fifty dollars a year. Doesn't matter how many assets you put in the account, by the way. The, it's just two hundred fifty dollars a year, and you get access to all the platform partners that are contained in the in the hundred dollar account. That's and still so, a huge deal, right there. That's that's better than just about anybody that I've seen. Yeah, I, I I like to think so, and and that's because we're not after the high net worth individual. We're uh -huh. we're trying to serve, you know, America. Yeah. Right. We, we're millions of people, not tens of thousands of people. Um, and, and then on the crypto IRA side, there's actually no cost to the account. It, it's just one and a half percent of every transaction. Okay. You know, so, and that's it. It's really straightforward. Mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I'd like to sit here and tell you a long story about how to calculate your pricing, but it's just not that complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Well, that's the way it should be, right? It shouldn't be this complex thing where you have to almost call in just to figure out what it's actually going to look like. And, and even then you don't know if you're even getting the right answer. So. Just, so, so one of the things, you know, there were, there were a number of things about the industry that I wanted to, uh, I don't know, fix isn't the right word, but let's say mm -hmm. change things that just didn't sit well with me as a, as a customer. And um, one of the largest was, was pricing. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, you had to figure out actually, where to print out this PDF form. And then you had to get a magnifying glass and then you had to read every single line to try and figure out like exactly what this asset was going to cost you for the year because it wasn't really straightforward. And instead, what we said was, you know what? We want people to look at our pricing page mm -hmm. and we want it to be in big letters and we want them to be able to see everything that they're going to get charged for right there. Yeah. Right? And so if you go to altoira.com slash pricing, you're going to see our pricing and that's it. <laughs> like you don't have to print out a PDF. You don't have to get the magnifying glass. You don't have to buy readers or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's just all right there. I love it. That's a simplicity. That's a, this is a disruptor in the, in this place, in, in the marketplace. And we need that, you know, because that's what creates more competition. And that's where we all win as uh, consumers of that too. No, I, I, I think that's right. And, you know, I can be tongue in cheek. Like there are a lot of really good people in this industry. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I think what's happened is that we were just one of the early ones to embrace technology. Yeah. Uh, and and to, to put a scalable um, service platform in place. And, yeah. you know, so we're, so we're just trying to raise the level uh, to everyone's benefit. Love it. So Eric, I appreciate your time today. Very generous and man, love it. I think everybody should go check it out. So again, one more time for our listeners, you know, that are hopefully they're driving, they can get it in their brain. Uh, what's the website you want to go to? Altoira.com, A-L-T-O-I-R-A.com. And Chris, I want to thank you for having me on, buddy. Absolutely, Eric, man. It's, it's been an honor, you know, and so Altoira.com, guys. We'll also put in the show notes for those of you that are not driving right now. Uh, but definitely go check that out. If you, if it, I, I'll tell you that this is the big niche that I've seen here is that there's been so many people ask me, Hey, I've got 15,000 this IRA, you know, where should I get the self-directed account? And I said, well, you, you almost be cheaper to pay tax <laughs> than to pay for the fees. Uh, so just to see this kind of solution and not to mention for those of you that are investing in the digital space, lots of solutions there too. So again, check out altoira.com. Again, Eric, it's great having you on and everybody have a wonderful and prosperous week. We'll see you later. Visit us online at moneyripples.com for more resources to help you fix money leaks and get your money working harder for you now. <laughs>